Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can work smartly in FB03 transaction code and use it as a place where you can not only just display the invoices. Uh, I'm pretty sure lots of everyone uses FB03 because if you have finance, you have to use FB03. So it will not be only used for displaying an invoice, it will be used for uh, reporting also. So let me show how you can do the reporting process. If you go to FB03 and that doesn't mean that all the other transaction code that you have reporting should be removed but here you can do the same thing. So here suppose you have a document, document uh, invoice number you want to search you will always click on document list and here you will see there is only this many options. It's nice you have posting date, entry date and all those things. Now suppose you want to see search for own documents only so here it will tell you only the documents that you have created okay so these are a lot of the documents that you have created okay now here suppose you want to see all the documents you want some more um, options dynamic selection so whenever you have this button dynamic selections in any standard SAP reporting screen okay you have more selection criteria you click on it and you will say this will give an option and what you know about yellow so if you see there's a yellow warning message yellow warning message is just press enter and move okay that's what you do when you get a warning in SAP lots of times people say oh I'm getting warning and I'm stuck when you're stuck hit the press the enter key that's what you do in SAP if you are stuck hit the enter key and that will make you unstuck and if it still doesn't make you unstuck uh, there might be an error message or you have to hit the enter key a bunch of other times okay that's the way it is okay now here you can see these are the green things that are already selected now if you want the posting date to be included you click on this and you will see the posting date to be included okay so in the selection criteria so if you notice there is the posting date is coming here now, if you want other things, you can change all these things. If you want the transaction code from where it was input, the cross company code number, the currency, whatever it is, document status, you name it, you have a bunch of things you can select it from here. So this is very, very useful and you can use it, okay? So that's it, stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.